Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the seventh episode of Mushoku Tensei. And I am recording this a few minutes after I finished watching the previous episode because I finished watching it and I'm sitting here like, I want to watch more. A few minutes later, here I am, so we're here to watch more. Last episode, we pretty much just had the beginning of our job. Rudy has this whole tutoring thing that he's doing for Eris and it's going... Pretty well, I would say. Pretty well, for sure. And hopefully it continues to go well. I keep talking about a potential time skip, and I really am curious when it will happen. I mean, it's possible it won't even happen in these first 11 episodes, but I, I assume it will. I just have no idea when, so I'm kind of always bracing myself for that. So that suddenly I set up an episode and they're like twice as tall, you know, but we'll see. For now, let's just get into it and see how things go. So, three, two, one, play. Bum, 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 bum. Back into it. Okay, right, oh wow, right into the sword training. <laughs> yeah, she's actually taking on a teacher, and she's holding her own pretty well. Man, I never, just, <laughs> the animation of this show. <sighs> it just always manages to surprise me. <laughs> Like, damn, that was... <laughs> oh. Can I have a hug, too? I feel like I deserve one. Is that, a, is that a no? I think that was a no. But man, seriously, that fight was intense. But just like a quick training battle, but it was so well done. Yeah, it's obviously, it's quite cold. I didn't get a chance to comment on that, but it's winter. <laughs> I really can't tell if that's good or not. I'm sorry. I'm sure it's great. I was wrong. <laughs> hey, she didn't hit him. Maybe we are making progress. She's got hers over there. It's just so fitting for a red-haired girl to use fire. Mommy! Jeez, that rack. I... <sighs> Don't burn yourself. Is she not... Does she just not like Rudy? Well, you did molest her daughter, but that did. she doesn't know about that. Probably. Hopefully. Pretty good. Still think some paint would help, though. <laughs> I, just, I really should have seen that coming. I know Rudy well enough. Uh, yo. I am very curious what this is about. Okay. Double digits, big deal. A dance, wow. Look forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> they don't mind me. <laughs> Never mind. I don't see why not. <laughs> Okay, I think we came to an agreement. <laughs> I 
still can't make any sense of it. It's always a good use of time. <laughs> yeah, they're the important things. Uh, you could say that. You could say that. <laughs> I see we have a man of culture here as well. He really does. I think I'm learning a lot about that gray, gray rat blood. I think this is a fine motivation to be learning a language. <laughs> I'm just sure there are. We have kind of advantages of being an adult and a child in one existence, so that probably helps too. Uh, did we have a fight? What happened? Uh, she's getting for just getting frustrated. She does have that pride. Got to do something to help. So she's turning 10, then she's 9 now, and Rudy's younger, so he's like 8. I, I think that's how the math works out. He's the only one that can do it. <laughs> she really does just like laying on hay. Yeah, we know her well enough. I saw that coming. What a privilege. So we're gonna try again. <laughs> Cause you're a noble. Uh, he gets more than you might than you might think. <laughs> yeah, that's not going super well. I'm sure he'll get it eventually, though. As long as he doesn't give up. That's the thing. Getting good at anything means sucking at it for a while. How well can Rudy dance? That's the question. Hey, she's getting... Okay, that one I did not see coming. <laughs> yeah, we got practice t t to do. That was her way of agreeing. Don't you get that? You should be fairly familiar with the concept of a tsundere if you really were an otaku in your previous life, so... No, you're not! We're gonna end up falling. <laughs> okay, I said falling, I didn't say throw him across the room. Remind me not to be your dance partner.
but clearly work in progress. So we're doing some language study here. I had to assume I can't hear what she's saying, but it's probably what that was. Helping him out with his beast god language thingy. Curtsy. And that's simple enough. Can't really screw that up. Oh, we're gonna like sell these? Oh wow. I think he liked it. So I'm gonna make a profit. He seems a bit more calm this time. Also, all the languages look the same to me in this show. A package. Okay. What is it? And from whom? Yeah, it's a funky looking Amazon box. Okay. <laughs> Take your word for it. Yeah, how are things going with Roxy? Yeah, he is eight. Confirmed. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, and there's that boy. Who clearly hasn't changed. <laughs> oh wow okay cool you really are the best Roxy yeah you want another dose Wow. Wow. That's where it ended up. <laughs> and they really made sure to make him more of a creep than Rudy. Like, they really put effort into that. I can't really tell, but yeah, I think I I, I imagine it's high quality. <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's a tie. So how are things going? She looks mildly concerned. Okay. Giddy Giddy is better than a failure. <laughs> yeah, would she be fine with another partner? <laughs> that didn't instill much confidence in me. <laughs> I am also quite worried. Oh, that is uh, an animal. <laughs> And we got our beast girl servants. All is right with the world. <laughs> All dressed up. Oh, wow. Speaking of dressed up. Congratulations, Eris. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> I hopefully she can hold back in this in this situation. We are just fingers crossed hoping. Uh, 
Well, we have a volunteer. I, I guess. I guess it's fine. <laughs> it's just it's kind of funny because he's taller than her. And I'm so used to thinking of her as tall because she's just always with Rudy and taller than Rudy. It's It's kind of funny. <laughs> To me. <laughs> yeah, you can't keep up with her. Only Rudy. She can, just with the right person. Someone that's made an effort to adjust to her pace. I feel like we got some people that want to be beheaded. Uh, Rudy, you gotta get out there and save the day. I think that's the only way we can salvage this. Salvage this. Because she can't dance? That's a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> May I have this dance, milady? <laughs> you forgot the milady part. I mean, she wouldn't possibly say no to this, right? I mean, what was the alternative? This is the best recovery we can hope for. See, yeah, especially from that shot when it was from Rudy's perspective. She looks so tall. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of people watching, and she does have a blunder to kind of recover from, so I get it. <laughs> yeah, like everyone is watching. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> if you can't see them, they can't see you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah, much better. <laughs> Gail just looks happy here as well. Hey, eyes closed. Don't I didn't say you could open them. Nobody's clapping. Come on, guys. It was, it's, it's, it's make me feel awkward here. Well, fine. If nobody else will, I will, okay? Like, it was great. Don't let them say otherwise. Oh, there we go. Took you long enough. <laughs> yeah, I think she's happier now. Yeah, sword fighting and dancing, it's not that different. I mean, that all went by so quickly, I, I wasn't completely sure what happened, but now that he's explained it, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Good job, Eris. Oh, random girls. <laughs> Unimportant girls. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, my bad. Uh, I will, I will remember that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Eris is gonna let that happen. Wands?
Man, they're really such high quality. <laughs> it's red. Do you like your hair? <laughs> <laughs> Seems useful. <laughs> Put a ring on it. <laughs> well, it is a nice ring. Did it not work for her? Oh. Yeah, okay. I, I gotcha. I get it. I understand. Yeah, it, it clearly does not work. Is... Is, uh, is Ares sleeping next to him? Yes, she is. Okay. I mean, I guess we just, I guess we find out which one he took to bed. Let's see if the ring works. Hey, we know it does. <laughs> I guess as long as the wolf's not too powerful, it works. Okay, I know what that sound is. Uh, I assume it's the mother with someone. Okay, nope, that is not what it was. Nope, I guess this is more in line with the show. Fair enough. Yeah, that's something. Oh wow, it's like a planet. <coughs> <laughs> uh, that might just happen. What lies beyond effort. Right. So the title was referring to... Darius, I guess. Well, I guess Eris and Rudy, they both put an effort because he was doing his own language thing, right? Next time, Turning Point. Okay, that really is an interesting title. I wonder, because it's vague, but also very important sounding. That's why it's a very interesting title. So that was the, the seventh episode of Mushoku Tensei. And Dance Lessons was pretty much the episode, right? That was a big thing. Er, uh, Erisa, er, Eris, er, yeah, Eris, she happened to work on that because... She does the sword fighting and stuff, but up to this point, we hadn't really seen her 
doing dancing at all. So it's probably not something that she's super passionate about, unlike the sword fighting and stuff. But apparently it's, it's apparently it's quite important for Noble to be able to do that. So her not being able to do it is causing some issues. And as usual with the show, when there's an issue, they go to Rudy to, to help solve it, right? And that was no exception. So that was something that was a big focus. We also had the whole language thing because this world apparently has multiple languages. All of it's Greek to me, so I don't I don't really know. But apparently, there's like a god lang god demon beast, like all sorts of different ones. And Rudy, being the knowledge thirsty for knowledge guy that he is, he is pursuing that and trying to improve. And luckily, he does have some people that kind of help with that, right? Ghislaine is good for the beast language stuff, and Roxy's also helping, like, literally making a handmade net textbook for him. Like, that's that's a lot of help. That's that's pretty cool. That she's able to do that when she has her own stuff going on, right? So, yeah, Roxy's pretty great. Glad that she's still willing to help. And the figures, he actually sold one at the market, which kind of made his way back to Roxy. Which is pretty much also pretty funny. Like it was, it was a high quality work. So if you could, if you can make those, sell them, pretty good source of income. Probably make more than he does from the teaching job, honestly. So, and yeah, the dancing. Rudy did his best to help her with that, and she kind of got frustrated, which is to be expected given her personality. So it is good that he was able to kind of give her the important life lessons of perseverance, essentially, working hard and. All, all that good stuff, and we did eventually get to our dancing scene, and she was started to dance with some random, some random boy, some non-Rudy boy, and of course it doesn't go well because Rudy, I mean they for, imply pretty heavily that, that there would be issues if somebody else danced with her, and that was the case. It just it was a disaster. Everyone was saying mean things or it was horrible. Luckily, Rudy was able to swoop in there and kind of save the day. I know the one guy kind of wanted him to keep a low profile, but. It was Eris. We had we had to help her, right? We couldn't just not help her. So it was for the best, for sure. No matter what punishment or that that would happen, like it would it would be worth it. But he said he would let it go anyway. That he would allow it this time. So it's it's, it's all good. And yeah, once he, Rudy was able to kind of like match it with the combat stuff in her head, it just it all kind of flowed well, and she was having a great time. And by the end of it, everyone applauded after like a very awkward 10 or so seconds. But it was OK because I, I I filled in that space with my own clapping. So it it's it's not too bad. And then we just have random fangirls pop up, like all looking very generic. And instead of going with one of them, Eris kind of, you know, claimed her property and dragged him away. So who knows what would have happened otherwise. And we had some gift giving. He was giving out his wands to his students, and apparently that wasn't good enough for uh, for Eris, and she she got the ring from Ghislaine as well, which may or may not work depends on who you ask. It's, it's so far it seems like it's got fifty fifty chance of working. There 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 are worse odds out there, I suppose. And apparently, Eris and Rudy slept together. I don't think we saw her go to his bed at any point. I guess she just kind of stuck around and fell asleep at some point. And th he was going to try something, but the ring seemed like it worked. I mean, probably not. It probably was not actually anything magical there. Just Rudy. Rudy, he's got his own 50-50 on whether or not he does things like that or he doesn't. And that time he didn't. So just how it worked out. And the end of the episode, he went off to like a watchtower area or something where events were happening and we saw what looked like a planet in the sky i'm not quite sure what that is it might be important it's probably important hopefully it's nothing dangerous though but it, it probably is because that's a different thing than the land mass we saw last episode i'm pretty sure so it'll be interesting to see what that's all about they're pretty vague on what it actually was in this episode but something i'm very curious about And yeah, we had all the fun stuff at the haystack, which was which was great. Like we had the important life lessons, but we also had the the usual era stuff sliding down and still just still kicking him because of course she does. I mean, sometimes she holds back, but sometimes she doesn't. She's got her own fifty fifty, I guess, like that. And that that was the episode. Next episode is called the Turning Point, so I expect something big to happen next episode, and we'll find out next time. But. Till then, 
Bye bye. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.